So, we'll uh, look at a weak acid, okay? So the first thing we'll do, we'll look at a weak acid, and the most common one is uh, HC2, H3O2. We know that is a weak acid, right? Okay? So we know that's weak acid. Okay, so what will happen when this splits apart, it will form H pluses, which gives you the acid, and it also rep um, forms H2H3O2. Okay, so that's going to act like what? When we put it with water, we know that we have H3O plus plus C2H3O2, and so this acts like what going that way? Is it acid or base going the other way? This here, what is it, acid or base? Yeah, so this is the acid. This is, you don't have to write any of this down here because you've seen it multiple times. So this, uh, water. This is the base. And then over here, this is the conjugate acid because it acts like an acid. And this is, this is the conjugate base because it acts like a base. Okay. So, we split it off, and let's say that we write it as uh, NaC2H3O2, okay? And let's say that's solid, we put in a beaker. What's it going to separate into? So it's going to start dissolving. So what are you going to see inside the beaker? So Na plus and then C2H3O2. Okay? So, the question is, the C2H3O2, it's going to act like a base, right? So what it's going to do is it's going to take hydrogens away, <coughs> hydrogens away from water, and so this solution will be basic. So I, when I put this in there, the C2H3O2 will do this. So that's going to be a basic solution. So it's going to be considered, it's going to be a weak base. What that's going to form. Now, so... I'm going to give you, right on here, we'll, go, we'll, we'll just go through this list and just see how it makes sense, okay? So, so we're going to, we're, we'll just give you some examples and we'll try to, we'll just break them off and kind of see what we have. So, first one I give you will be KCN, all right? So we know it breaks apart into Ks and it breaks apart into CN minus when it's in the beaker. All right, so we'll go to our list here. Okay, it says, cation, um, if it forms a neutral solution, it's a cation that is from a strong base and an anion from a strong acid. Do we have that case here? So, cation from a strong, so I'll give you some strong bases. KOH, NaOH, LiOH. NGOH2, these are strong bases. Okay, and then we've got strong acid. Okay, we got HCl, HClO4, HBr, HI. Um, HNO3. Okay? So, if we take a cation from the strong base, any of these, K, N, A, L, I, M, G, 
Okay, we take any of these, and then we take any of these anions, so these would be the cations, which would be the ones out in front, and then we would take the anions away, which is this one, okay, and we take them away, and we put them together, like, give me, a, give me an example where we put them together. Take a cation from a strong base and put it together with an anion from a strong acid. KCl. KCl. It is always neutral. It's going to be neutral. Anytime you take a cation from a strong base and an anion from a strong acid, neutral. Put it in pH of 7, say 7. All right, give me another one. NaNO3. Neutral. Does that make sense? Okay. So if you get that combination together, then you're always going to have a neutral solution. Okay? So we come back to this. Um, this is cation from a strong, ass, uh, strong base. This is an anion from not a strong acid, but what? Weak acid. So I'll give some weak acids here. So weak acid would be HCN, uh, HClO2, HCN, uh, HC2H3O2. Um, Get a good variety there that we can look at. And so basically what we're doing is we're just taking and making a salt. And the salt will either have an anion from a strong acid or weak acid or a cation from a strong base or a weak base that we'll take a look at. Okay? So I want a couple more. Okay, uh, HNO2, HF. HNO2. HF. Okay. So, if we take an anion, one of these, away, and we combine it with a strong base, it's going to be a basic solution. Because this anion... Uh, will be a conjugate of the weak acid, so it's a conjugate base. So anions of weak acids are always conjugate bases. Okay. So um, I'm gonna. Okay, and then I, I need to give you some weak bases <coughs> too, so we can have a list of weak bases in that. So I'm just gonna make a duplicate of this page. Okay. Rinse, and we'll we'll do some, we'll just do some practice. So we give a list. So the list of weak bases, NH3 would be in there, would be one. Uh, the weak bases are kind of unique, but I'm going to go ahead and give them to you. There's not very many of them. Okay, so weak base. We got NH3. We got CH3, NH2. Okay, and I'll just give one more. Um, C5, H5N. Okay, so those are weak bases. All right. So let's just, let's go through and practice some of these. And then um, we can refer back to this page if I need to. HClO4, what is that? Strong acid. Strong acid, you got that memorized. Okay, correct. A, uh, KClO4. So write that down, KClO4. Got it written down?
Look at that. And then you guys tell me what it's going to be. Okay, see level four. What's it going to be? Neutral. neutral. Very good. So, this one's neutral. Oh, oh, oh what's that one? Guesses? Got an H out in front, so I'd probably give you an indication what it would be. So, which one do you think it is? H out in front usually represents an acid, right? Yeah. So is it strong or weak? Weak. Weak. Aha. All right, what's that one? I hope we'll go back to our list. Got it? Okay, so what, which one's that going to be? Weak base. Weak base. Right, we're, we're, we're on a hot streak. Okay, what about this one? Now some of them, they don't give you <laughs> everything that's on your list in your book. So you're going to have to base it on what you know already. So... NaC2HCl2O2. Got an idea? That one, this one's a little bit more of an unknown. What do you think on that one? Is it neutral? It won't be neutral. Because this is an anion of a weak acid. So that's an anion from a weak acid, and we have a cation from a strong base. You can look at your list if you, it'll tell you what it should be. What should it be? Should it be basic? Should be basic and it should be a weak base. Okay. How about that one? Weak acid. Weak acid. I agree. What's this one? Now, you have something that looks like that right here. So there's C5H5N. Okay, and now we have C5H5NH2. So it picked up a hydrogen. And so now it's on the right side. So if it picked up a hydrogen, it was a base. Now it's going to be a conjugate acid now. Okay, because on the left side of the equation, if you would write it out, you'd have the C5H5N plus H2O. And then on the other side, you'd have C5H5NH plus OH minus. So it should be a conjugate acid, right? So that should be a weak acid. What's that one? C5H6 NH2. Do we? Weak base. Because it looks, anytime you have NH2 at the end, it's called an amine group. And when you look at here, it's kind of like this one. See how it's NH2? These are all N's, NH3, NH2, N, and it doesn't have a plus, it <coughs> picked up a hydrogen. So if it doesn't pick up a hydrogen, then it treats it like a base. So that should be a weak base. How about that one? C3H3O2. So it's an anion from something. So you, what do you think this anion is coming from? Weak? Yeah. So it should be a weak base. Okay, I, we can run through a bunch. 
Let's do that one. NAF. Yeah, it'd be a weak base. Because the F is coming from a weak acid. So it'd be F minus is the anion from the weak acid. So it should be a weak base. And the Na is from a strong base. It should be a weak base. Let me let me get one here, it's a little different. How about NACN? Mm hmm. Got it. Weak base. See how that works? It's kind of. Oh, I like this one. KCL4. Neutral. Neutral. Alright, you guys got it? Okay. And if you get one wrong, like they say, you know, I do this one and. Um, Na is from a strong base, and N3 would be from a weak base, so it should be conjugate acid, so it should be a weak acid, so let's say I say a strong acid. Oh, okay. So it tells you if you get them wrong, which is kind of neat. I'll put this up, and... You'll have to do a few of these on future tests and that, but that's kind of how you use it. Okay. It took a little longer than I thought it would, but I had to explain some of those different parts, so...